There's a lot that's in here. There's a lot in here. I could go all night long till daylight and keep on going. Oh, yes. Because you know what they're trying to do to us here in New York? They try to put us in a cage. They try to shut us down. They try to box us up. They don't want to hear us. Especially me, because I'm not sugarcoating anything. The church needs to hear the truth. Yeah. If they don't hear the truth, they're going to go to hell. And there's a lot of barbecue going on in hell. Sure is. It's barbecue of man's flesh. Uh -huh. So, that elevator to hell goes in one direction, down. down. Many are called, but only a few are chosen. Even that scripture in um, uh, uh, Second Chronicles seven fourteen is that the one? If my people who are called by my name would humble themselves, pray. oh, that scripture right there. It's talking about the one who are called. Those who are called, what have they been doing? People come into the church sick. They come in bound, oppressed, depressed, leave depressed, leave bound, leave oppressed. And the definition of insanity is when you do the same thing, the same way, expecting different results. So why do you think you can't get free? Something needs to change. My God. Where is the deliverer in the church? Hello, God. Where are the deliverers in the church? Hello. God called them, but they're in such a hurry to go start church because they want to make some money. Jesus. They forget about waiting. Hello. You know the scripture that talks about, oh, Wait on the Lord. Yeah. He'll renew your strength. Yeah. You'll mount up with wings like of that. eagles. Yeah. It's not just a figment no. of one's imagination. Real. It's a real thing. Yes. Amen. I remember in my place of growing and coming to birthing in the ministry, I spent hours of worshiping God in my prayer closet, me alone in my house and God. I don't want anybody calling me on the telephone. I don't want any texts. I don't want any phone calls. No disturbance. Because I didn't want anybody to rob me of my time with God. Because you see, I learned how to fall in love with God first before he sent me a man. Hello, somebody. Message. Message. You know what I noticed? Message. Jezebel is so busy. My God! He is so busy. All of the, the females that have high callings, they're selling out. Mm -hmm. They're selling out because when Jezebel comes to church, Jezebel was in prison for whatever he or she did. Stop. They never got delivered. They stayed there. They read the word. They accepted Christ, but they never waited. They never waited to come in to deliver us. Hey. And they were so much in a hurry. As soon as I get out of jail, Oh, no. 
Yeah. You know, this place should be packed tonight. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. But Jezebel didn't want some people to hear it. No. You know that's a strong man for New York? Oh, Jezebel? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm here to expose Jezebel tonight. That's why they never want me to talk. Uh -huh. You see? But I'm here to expose Jezebel tonight. When you leave here tonight, you're going to know the deal. Mm. You're going to know who is who. Because when I get done, ministry has thus set the Lord thy like God, you won't be walking in darkness anymore. Amen? Amen. So, the seed that will be planted tonight, I want you to take it. Yes. And you're going to sow the seed in the life of somebody else. Amen. Who needs it? Amen. Because the church has got to yes. take a stand. Yes. Yes. Too much of putting up yes. with mm. the foolishness. Yes. Amen. You know sometimes the Lord is showing you yes. the mm. demon. Mm. And you'll still come. And you'll still sit under the demon. The voice of the demon. Now look, they got some gifts. Yes. Come on. Oh, yes. Mr. Yes. Ray, they got some gifts. Awesome. Come on. The demons have gifts. The gifts of God come without repentance, number one. Hello. Make it sure. Come mm -hmm. on. Oh, yes. And when they got the Holy Ghost, they also got more gifts. Hey. Some of them have all nine gifts, just like what Paul had. The Bible says, you shall know them by the fruit. Fruit. You see, a man can't fool me with his gifts. No. no. <clears throat> Show me the fruits. I need to see fruits. Come on. Yeah. Come on. I need to see fruits. Yeah, baby. And, you know, we can't be in so much of a hurry to go jump and hook up. No. If you should be hooking up with anybody, you should be hooking up with the Holy Ghost. First. Amen. Amen. First. Come on. I say, do it in this order. Come on. Spiritual. Or financial education, spiritual health, financial education, then relationship. Yeah. You know what that is? Relationship with those God who is saved and preordained to be a part of your life. Relationship with your spouse so that you can know when you you see your wife. Because the word says, he that finds a wife, finds a good thing. Yeah. So much women have it twisted. All right, man. Hey, You're preaching it now. Yeah. You know what I noticed? A lot of women, they're so huh. in a hurry. They're in a hurry. Hmm. You know why they're in a hurry? Okay, come on. You know, a lot of women have got to hear what i got to say. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, Jezebel starts to mess up the kids. Oh. By the time they're 12, they're messed up. So true. Okay. Come on now. So true. So if you think that your daughter or your son is not sexually active at, at 12, you can stay right there and deal with that kid until that demon being built a stronghold in your house. Amen. And then they will pick up something and knock you out there. Amen. 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 Wow. They get messed up. Mm -hmm. You think they're not having sex in elementary school? Mm -hmm. Touching each other in the wrong places? Demons yeah. in operation. How do you think your children pick up demons? Mm. What do they pick it up in school for friends? That's right. cool. Right in the school. Yeah. Yeah. There ain't no God there. Yeah. And they come up in your house and you entertaining it. Yeah. Where's the pastors in the house? Husband! Mm -hmm. yeah. Hello. You're the pastors in the house Hello. and you're not married. Women, you're the pastor in the house. Amen. You got to set your house in oh, order. Yeah. Yes. I was talking to a young man just the other day. I feel so sorry for this young man. He's four years old, married, two teenagers, and they both accepted Christ after they had the kids. But after accepting Christ, there was infidelity in the relationship. And the poor man didn't know that he had married someone that needed deliverance. My God. Jezebel messed her up Talk about it. and caused her to mess up her family. So she backslid because of who? Jezebel! Yeah, yeah. You sit down there and think, I want to know how about Jezebel. But it's the devil already. He goes like Jezebel, too, or no? No, who your Jezebel is? Yes, yes. 
Yeah. All right, now. Yeah. Yo, you talking it right. Come on. You have a call on your life? Yeah. Them are just yeah. yeah. That yeah. shit can have six votes for you. Yeah, that's it. Woo! And if Jezebel has not touched your life already, oh, you better gird up your loins in the word. You better continue to do some prayer and fasting. You better get together and start praying with some people who can touch the door room of heaven because Jezebel knows how to get you. Uh, uh huh. That's her job. That's his job. Uh huh. And who knows? Jezebel has no sex. No. It's a man or a woman. Talk it right. Oh, yeah. Spirit. Because you're dealing with a poa. You're dealing with a high poa principality. A demon from the pits of hell. So you better got some word in you. Hello. We need word. Yes. We need word. Because without word, you can be destroyed. I, I guarantee it. You will be destroyed without word. Because when Jezebel used to molest you when you were young, I'm talking about the ones that were close in your family, that you trusted, My the uncle, God. the aunties, the daddies, the mama. Oh! Yes. All right, I'm going to be real tonight. Yes. The ones you trusted because Satan ain't going to go outside no. and get a stranger. He's going to use somebody in your house. The brother, the sister, the baby sister, the one that you let sleep over with your children. Talk it right. Talk it right. I'm exposing Jezebel tonight. All right, no. It's like I could talk about spiritual locations. I could talk about Jericho. I could talk about demons. I could expose the demons even more. But the Lord says, focus on Jezebel tonight. Yes. Because Jezebel is busy destroying the church. Yes, she is. Yes, Jezebel is. I love our son, though. Yes. You know, I started to preach this at that church the other, other day. I got to, well, Revelation 2, starting with verse 